Uh, good evening. This is the Great Barrington Planning Board meeting for Thursday, April 13th. Um, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law and Governor Healy's March 29, 2023 revised order extending remote participation by all members in any meeting of a public body, this meeting of the planning board will be conducted both in person and via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website. For this meeting, members of the public and committee members may attend the meeting in person or for those who wish to do so remotely may by following the instructions on this agenda. For those who are not in person, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time by a technological means. In addition, Pursuant to MGL 7C 30A section 20F, after notifying the chair of a public body, any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting of a public body or may transmit the meeting through any medium. At the beginning of this meeting, the chair shall inform other attendees of any such recordings. Any member of the public wishing to speak at the meeting must receive permission of the chair. The listings on this agenda are items that are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. Furthermore, section 241-1 of the town code, except for procedural and housekeeping matters, town residents shall have the right to address a board on any item that requires a vote at a time before a board votes on that item. Such residents will be allowed as much time as a proponents of an item is permitted to have. So this meeting is being recorded. Um, for those who are attending uh, remotely, uh, we try to keep an eye on who is raising their hand at various times where there's an opportunity um, for the public to speak. So we don't need to do a roll call uh, attendance as far as I understand, but we are all here uh, with the exception of Pedro. And we will move on to form A's. We've got two this evening. The first one is 170 Teutonic Avenue. Yes, sir. Come on up. Hello. My name is Fred Haley. I'm a surveyor. That's a picture. That's how I hope you've got your land. Next. Next. Over here. So we got we one here. Come down the mile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here and here. This neighbor has a little more land. And this neighbor has a little less land. And the neighbors have gotten together, and this neighbor will convey this triangle of property to that person to be combined with his existing land into a single parcel. No construction, no building. Just making this land, which is barely conforming at a quarter of an acre, we're going to make it a third of an acre. <laughs> A little bit bigger, and this land is already large enough. So both of these parcels are conforming to the rules of the upper road frontage, and you have size. Yeah. All right. and correction, I don't think that's still conforming. Okay. If you add those up. Okay. And we say it's more conforming? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think this probably, well, this, that probably, does mean it, but it doesn't have enough frontage for it to be a conforming lot. Okay. If that was the goal. No. If no, the goal is just to. You no. Know, the, the goal is to give this person sure. more space. Sure. I understand. And this person has it to get. Yeah. Yeah. So. It decreases any non conformity, right? No, it's still not conforming. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. We're, we're not it doesn't. getting close. <laughs> we're, doing, uh, we're doing the best we can. Right. Well, that's a point. So, uh, yeah, so it's not creating a photo. Do, so, do we have a, a motion to yeah. endorse? Yeah, motion to second. Um, so moved by um, Malcolm, seconded by Jeremy. Do we have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, motion carries. 
Getting back to doing our work. Uh, is this okay? Would I start it with you and work our way around? Let's start with Jonathan and we'll work our way around. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Yes, we're to wait to it. I first folded in half No, I didn't. I just, my second fold wasn't very good. There you go. And then we can drop it in half. Not the other way around the title will be in half. I know, isn't it? And then you're not. Oh, I did it wrong. Enjoy your dinner, right? That way. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're out of practice because COVID ruined it for us. Well, COVID has changed so much. You did not have this technology two years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is thank you. Yeah, no. It has been improved over time. Yes. We're having a hundred where it's these two. Yeah. So it's. Do you actually have to sign it? Yeah. I. Couple copies? Yes. If I need all the. Ah, we got the height now. So the height is 23. And I was like, can you make that piece off? I was like, 20 minutes. Yeah. 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 24 <laughs> minutes. It's like, we were supposed to ski yesterday, but my son broke his collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't sign that. It's fast. All right, thank you, Mr. Haley. You ready? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you did so ski breakfast. You need the pilot right here. Awesome. Oh, he's gonna pilot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. takes the one. All right, are we ready to move on to the next one? The next one is 13 Knob Hill Road. It looks like Mr. Parsons is joining us online. It's gonna be hard to sort of virtual signatures. <laughs> Do we have that technology yet? Mike, yeah. are you here? Yeah. We do. Um, I'm yes, I can see you folks. I don't know if you can see me. See your name on the screen, but we can hear you. You can see my name on the screen. Okay. Um, that's all that's important, I guess. Um, yeah. so you've seen this about 12 times. Um <laughs> that this guy's been dividing and redividing this house on uh Nav Lane. Um Sam Lipvin, he bought it from um Glenn and Blackwell. Um he's now taking the garage down and he's gonna put a new garage back um in the vicinity of where it says parking on this plan. So we've had to push that property line um which is the i guess the north line of uh lot number one we've had to push that uh farther out into lot number two in order to accommodate the two-car garage that he wants to put back he took down a one-car garage um so, so just just to clarify that's the north line that's like parallel with the retaining wall is that right yes that's right brandy okay. yeah yeah, that's that's the line. Um, lot number two, um, we've got the zoning on there. It's in an R1A zoning district. It needs 10,000 square feet. It's got 29,000. It needs a 100 foot lot width. We've shown a 100 foot line uh, on the plan. Uh, it needs 80 feet of frontage. Uh, we've got 83. So, um, from our perspective, we've uh, accommodated um, zoning, and he'll be able to put a bigger garage up. Okay, thank you very much. Does any welcome. member have any questions? So, Brandy, um, I was 
uh, Sam's agent when he, when he bought the property. Mm -hmm. I don't have any continued best of interest, but he's a friend. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have to recuse myself. Okay. Thanks for making that known. Anything else? No, do we have a motion to endorse? So moved. <laughs> I second. Dario. Second. <laughs> I'll second. Sorry. I'll second the duo. We'll, we'll let Malcolm and Jeremy be the um, the mover and the seconder. Um, do we have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion unanimous. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you much. Me. Yep. Yeah, Chris, we'll I'll, the I'll, catch up with, I'll catch up with Chris and get to playing. Okay, great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks so much. Good night. Okay. I've got one already folded. Um, so I folded this one in half this way. Okay, so first. Yeah. And then. All right. Folding. I don't think we need to offer them folding. Yeah. Learning new skills. Figure it out. They'll be coming back if we're going to put it in the ground. Nice. Okay. Is it a duplex? Okay. So then our next item, folks, um, are the minutes of March 23rd. We have a motion to approve as amended. They were only amended once. So, so moved. Thank you, Jonathan. Second. Seconded by Jeremy. Um, any discussion on the minutes? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, Jerry, thank you. Minutes are approved. And thank you, as always, Tim. Uh, town meeting preparation. Mr. Remsel. Sure. So typically at this time of the year, the planning board will begin to, thanks, Jeremy, draft its report on the zoning articles. Um, I will uh, take the first crack at that. I summarize your discussions after public hearing uh, and your meetings. Uh, when you discuss these uh, and note, you know, the, the basis of the of the discussion and the planning board's recommendation on each of the articles, including the citizen petition, which you didn't have information on and so did not make a recommendation. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and draft that and, and share that with you. We have enough time for, if you want to review it at the next meeting. That'd be great. You think mm -hmm. you'll have it ready for the next meeting? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do we decide? How many articles? Or, so, uh, you did we group anything? That's or? a good. You didn't. Uh, I think you took each one uh, really in the order that they were in the public hearing. Okay. Uh, definitions, performance standards. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven proposed mm -hmm. by the planning board and one citizen petition. It's a very long town meeting this year. Very yeah. I should say there are a lot of articles. I don't know if it would be long. Um, 42 total articles. Has the select board, Chris, um, signaled at all that they might do two meetings as they have signaled previously? Thursday, the 4th of May, is being held as the second night. Okay. If the business can't be concluded on May 1st. Okay. Um, the zoning articles right now are articles. 30 through 36, and the citizen article appears at article 38. Which, which citizen article are you referring to? That's the zoning article. It was about, about five amending the wireless oh, district okay. yeah. that, that we didn't um, hear any information on. And did the, uh, the driveway, did that get on? That is appears just before zoning. Oh, before zone. Oh, awesome. Um, you'll, so, you'll still be paying attention. <laughs> the people who have a link there. So usually, you know, maybe you want to discuss this at the next meeting. You usually sign. We'll do assignments. We'll right, read the motions and we might give the. Why not just do it now? Is, um, um, is anybody up for a re election? Jonathan and I, we're unopposed. You're unopposed. So there's no. I mean, uh, 
Does anyone feel strongly about presenting one article over another? And Jackie, would you like to present one also? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, are we all able to be present on the first? Well, yes, yes. Why don't I send the articles over and then you can all think about it. And then the next thing you can say, well, I want sure. to do this one. I want to do this one. Okay. I thought you had, there was some discussion about which the order because of some of the change of definitions and if this isn't approved, then it yeah. changes and affects other things. So there's going to be some kind of rational rational grouping. Um, we did discuss that, and it seemed like actually the the order. Oh, compared uh, to the actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah the order that you saw during the public oh, hearing worked out very well. So. One thing we're probably going to want to consider is if if something doesn't pass, if there are other more articles that are yeah. that it's very they're important that they're related to we may pass over so we can have that discussion at the next okay yeah. yeah there were three that really aren't related to the others the um silver street is its own article that doesn't depend on any others that can be judged just on the merits of that the b2 Inclusion or the um, affordable housing one and the root seven tree, those are all kind of independent mm -hmm. right. of the others. But the first three are more things to progress in succession. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Chris. That's that's it. If there's anything else you want to discuss, um, in terms of publicity or anything like that, or getting the word out, you know, please let me know and. We'll do our best. My time is extremely limited, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Thank you very much. Anything else? No. All right. Do we have board and subcommittee updates? Uh, I heard that yeah. there's a number of recommendations for yeah. For so CPC for CPC. For CPC. Yeah. So CPC. Um. Well, at our last meeting, uh, board or the committee um, uh, voted to send um, uh, Ian's projects, yeah. I think it was that building, yeah. uh, on to town meeting. Um, so recommendation for 250000 for two units at 80% uh, area and mean income for 10 years. Okay. Um, yeah. That would be the the covenant that would be placed on those units, or yeah, okay, and with a um option to extend it, meaning at at the you know near the end of ten years to renegotiate if the town mm -hmm. would like to continue on for another period of time, mm -hmm. um, and I guess that would keep going as long as the I'll town keep, kept giving them money, kept giving them money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. he, he's want and and. Um, one of the things that he said at uh, the meeting is that what he's interested in doing is um, it's correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, but it seemed like he's interested in his um, rental developments being 20% um, of the units um, uh, affordable. It sounded like that. Yeah. It's his goal. And it seemed like he was saying that he is looking for other funds. Um, okay. And I think everybody was assuming that hopefully those funds were private and they could set something around that percent. Where can we read that? Uh, so, we just I, on? so the CPC's uh, minutes um, from the April 4th of that, April 4th meeting for that. Okay. Um, but the, um, the pro, uh, would the would his proposal, like his original proposal, like is the whole proposal in that packet? Or I think the proposals might all be on the CPC page on okay. the town website. Yeah. Okay. So all of the yeah, all of the recommendations to town meeting are that too. Thank you. And there's a lot of them. The CPC usually does a report to town meeting also that describes each yeah. project, summarizes <laughs> you know, each project. We have a very good report. <laughs> Great. Excellent. <laughs> Any other board or committee updates, issues, or concerns? Uh, no. No? Becky? No, I'm not on committee. 
board issues or concerns? Oh, board issues. No, that's another. No. Okay. I heard uh, design advisory is looking at. Design sorry? advisory is looking for members. Is it? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Is it alive and well? I, we still on the design advisory advisory group? We still the chair? As far, no, I'm not the chair. I mean, as far as I know, I'm still on it, but I, I could be wrong because it's been about a year. I think they, they, they need a ringleader to pull ring them leader, together, and Rainbow. then to recommend to us to give them some teeth. Really. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a town planner's report, but I will just say that there's new playground equipment know. at. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't have I'm a town even, planner's sorry. report. You have the town planner's report. I don't have a board update. For <laughs> <laughs> um, Lake Mansfield <laughs> has new playground equipment. So bring your children uh, to, to try it out. Mm -hmm. um, is there a town planner's report? Mr. No, Ryan? I just wanted to note. Yeah, as, as we said, town meeting is May 1st. The second night is May 4th. So, okay, That's we'll put it in our calendar. May 1st, 6 p.m., and it's in the auditorium. Okay, which is a bummer because it's been fun to picnic. And hopefully, <laughs> unfortunately, the cafeteria overflow. Okay, yeah. Um, citizens speak. There are no citizens sitting here in the room. Are there any citizens online? I yeah, see a hand, hand wave raised. Oh. Mr. West? Hi there. If you unmute yourself, you go ahead and make your comments. Yes, I'm, I'm, I would like to ask the board if they would reconsider the change they're making at the property at 35 Silver Street. Uh, the property changed hands yesterday. It's my understanding that the new owners are not requesting the change in the zoning, but you and the, uh, this board has made that change. Uh, so I'd like the board to consider uh, leaving it as is. Um, sure. So we, we have made our recommendation to the town meeting at this point in time. Um, if if what you're saying is accurate, um, if you want that, uh, you could recommend that owner um, contact um, Mr. Rembold and and pass that information along formally. Um, that would be helpful. Uh, so you're you're asking me to contact the current uh, owner to tell Mr. Rembold not to we, change the zone. We have not been contacted by that landowner, to my knowledge. So right. I don't. So why are you any... making the change? Why are you changing the zoning? Then? As we mentioned um, at the previous meeting, um, we see a zoning change there as potential to create new housing opportunities. Right, double the size, and you have you taken into consideration the abutters and how it affect uh, Silver Street traffic, or does that work so, into your uh, I, I, rationale I mean, for changes? We've, we've mentioned this before. You know, there's no development proposal that we are aware of. This is only a zoning change. So, so why are you, you know, making the change? To provide a little more infill closer to town that's serviced by water and sewer. It seems like a, a good spot to... Uh, and, but you go ahead and do that without... Uh, consulting the neighbors and how it may affect their property. So we, by virtue no, let, of let the gentleman public, finish. He, he, well, we had a we had a we had a public hearing. Yeah. And you know, um, we had a public yeah. hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're, what we're does that having, mean? We're still having a discussion two two meetings later about issues that were discussed during the public hearing. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. To me. I'm asking you why you're making the change. You haven't been able to tell me that. With no, the, we I'll, have told you. You don't like no, the answer, you, sir. You, so well, no, I don't like the answer, and I don't like the fact that you fine. that you, you don't have to like make the, answer, the change. You, you make the change, and you don't even consult the butters. No, we we the consultation process is to hold a public hearing, and that is what this board has done. We held a public hearing. So um, if you are aware of other information about the ownership of the property and you think that that new owner 
does not want the zoning change, please have them be in touch with us. Okay, thank you. I see another hand raised, Mr. Unger. Yes, um, on the same subject, can um, everybody from the board, as well as Mr. Rembold, attest to the fact that they did not have discussions with the buyer prior to Mr. Rembold proposing this, uh, championing this uh, change? I can tell you I've had no discussions with uh, the buyer of the property. I couldn't even tell you who that is. How about all the other, including Mr. Rembold? I've had no discussions with anyone about that property besides it's, here. It, just to clarify, it's Linda Shafroth and Sarah Steiner bought it. Okay. Blackwater Realty Trust or whatever, whatever it's called. Okay. So, and they're builders, they're contractors. So I assume they're going to be building something or redoing what's there. I don't, I don't know. But I've had no conversation with them either. No, I, I, I really don't want to answer that question because this is public comment. It's going to so, sure. so like, yeah, more interrogation. Time. And how about Mr. Rembold? Sir, I've answered that question several times over email. No, I did not. I did not even know who that buyer was. Thank you. And so you're not willing to answer the question. So I will note that. that uh, the one well, just, two, one just, is that you, you Mr. Rembold, the other one? Question. Oh, Malcolm? So, Mr. Fick um, think... is making a point that this is public comment. This isn't normally public debate. Yeah. Um, and so we are we are going beyond normal protocol for this part of the meeting by responding to your comment. And we're trying to be as gracious as possible. Um, normally, this is just a listening session. So do you have any anything else you'd like to say? Nope. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good evening. Are there any other public comments? Yeah. All right, hearing none, so we will adjourn good. the meeting at 627. Thank you very much.